Renee Box Young, what is going on? Um, yeah, I gotta go check out Jared Anderson's Instagram account. Um, I just, you know, I was just uh, browsing through a moment ago, just you know, fiddling around on Instagram. Sometimes I do it, you know, but um, and I went to Jared Anderson's account for some reason, <laughs> and it was a good reason. <laughs> Um, he put a post of him, you know, uh, shadow boxing, as you can see here in the image and the thumbnail, he put a post of him shadow boxing a video actually. Um, and he posted, um, on that clip that something along the lines of, or in the Instagram post, he put something saying like, I know your mom, uh, told you about being careful of what you wish for something along those lines. And he tagged Philip Ergovich. Croatian heavyweight fighter if I'm not mistaken he's around 6'6 and uh you know as far as his height and 17 and 0 I think he fought he just fought in the um day of reckoning card that card was fantastic I did knockouts left and right what a what an action-packed card man salute to those who are um you know organizing these fights and events over in Saudi Arabia man wow you know uh but Philip Hergovich he fought in that fight and um in that in that card, sorry. The thing about Philip is that, um, you know, he's had several opportunities to fight names such as uh, King Kong Ortiz, if I'm not mistaken, and I think Andy Reese, you know, and they both, uh, you know, opted out of fighting Philip because of injuries, according to these fighters and their teams or what have you, right? And there is there is a list of, of fighters who. Um, you know, they were arranging to fight Philip Ergovich, but for, for injuries, they pulled out, you know, they had, you know, they, they pulled out of fighting him. So Jared Anderson, this is the thing about him, you know, I've been following him. Y'all check the channel out. I push videos on Jared Anderson. I really like his come up. I really like his fighting style, his personality. He has it all, man. As for a heavyweight fighter, he has it all. He's very young too. The heavyweight needs, ladies and gentlemen, the heavyweight division needs these types of personalities, man, because... Um, and especially an event that was just pushed in Day of Reckoning, um, that really is is putting the spotlight on the heavyweight division. It really is. It really is. You know, um, there have been complaints out there in the you know the boxing world that the heavyweight division has it's been lacking. It's been slacking off, kind of. You know, but um, you know this 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 event and uh, personalities like Jared Anderson. Even though Jared Anderson didn't fight in the event in the Day of Reckoning, but still the the, the heavyweight division needs some someone like Jared Anderson. He's really skilled highly talented he has a personality and character this is the thing about it i pushed a video recently if i'm not mistaken talking about this that jared anderson he's more of a he's more of a prize fighter his money his, you know money's on his mind you know he got his mind on money you know so jared anderson um and you know even though he had a really tough fight against uh, charles martin you know a couple fights ago um, as a replacement if i'm mistaken charles martin was a last minute replacement for jared anderson um, you know, I forgot who the other opponent was supposed to be, but, you know, he had to pull out or whatever reason it was. And then, you know, Charles Martin replaced that, uh, opponent and Jared Anderson in that fight. That was his toughest test. That's why I'm bringing this up. This, that was his toughest test. Charles Martin was, was Jared Anderson's toughest test in his career. Philip Ergovich. Now this would be a fantastic fight. And this is why I bring this up. I think that, um, you know, Philip Ergovich, this would be Philip's biggest opportunity. You go to his, you know, resume. I mean, the names they fought haven't been really, you know, a lot of people don't really know who they are, um, with all due respect, obviously. And Philip has been knocking these guys out, man. Uh, Philip, he also fought Zhang. Philip Ergovich, he fought Zhang some time ago and he beat him by unanimous decision. Um, but other than that, man, I think his record is 17 and 0, as I mentioned a moment ago. And I think he has like 14 knockouts, something like that, 16 knockouts. I, I don't remember exactly, but. His, his, he's knocking these guys out. Philip is knocking these guys out left and right, man. Jared Anderson also has an impeccable record. This would be a fantastic fight, you know. Um, so I don't know. This is what I'm saying. I don't know if that post on Instagram was referring to, and also on, the, on that clip I was uh, referencing earlier on Jared Anderson's uh, Instagram, he said fight date. It says in a text, fight date coming soon. So I don't know if this is the next fight. I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. I'm assuming he posted that Instagram uh, text and the video um, showing that, you know, and obviously tagging Philip Bergovich, telling him that, you know, his mom uh, should have warned him or what have you, however he said it and phrased it, um, you know, about being careful what you wish for. So it looks like this might be next, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. I really hope it is. I really hope this is. Now, getting back to what I was saying a moment ago about Jared Anderson being a prize fighter and what have you, because he, he stated it. it's not a secret. It's not a secret. 
that Jared Anderson has been stating that he wants more money. He's in it for the money, man. He's in it for the money, not necessarily for legacy. Um, me, I'm a huge legacy fan, you know what I'm saying, with fighters who go for legacy. But but uh, what I'm saying here is this. Jared Anderson fighting Philip Hergovich, that would be a legacy fight in my humble opinion. I think it is. Even though Philip Hergovich is not a champ or what have you, but this is, you know, Philip, he, he's no joke, man. What we've been seeing in Philip Hergovich, you know, he he's no joke. He can fight, man. And this guy got some power. He's a danger. You know, any fighter who fights a fighter that's dangerous, that's a leg that's a legacy fight in my books, ladies and gentlemen. That's a legacy fight in my books. Um, and I I would, you know, that that's awesome. If this fight happens next, man, I really hope it does. Philip Hergovich, he's a Croatian fighter, if I'm mistaken, from Croat Croatia. So let's hope this fight's next, man. So what do you guys think? Go ahead and go to go to uh, Jared Anderson's uh, um Instagram account and check that post man and jared anderson he's being active you know that's a plus you know i'm i'm really really hoping this this fight's next go ahead and comment comment section who do you got winning on this if it happens renee boxing peace